Right now, donations are up for both anti-abortion and pro-abortion rights groups here in our county since the landmark Roe v. Wade reversal last Friday. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Carla Chiquetto. Planned Parenthood and a local maternity home with two locations say they've seen a steady stream of increasing support. CBS 8's Heather Hope talked to the organizations today, working to find out where that money will go. Planned Parenthood of the Pacific Southwest and a local maternity home have seen an uptick in calls, volunteers, and monetary donations. Organizers say many people are feeling compelled to do something after the Supreme Court decision, and giving back is just one way. So typically, we see uh, smaller but many more donations. So people really giving that $50 or that $100 because they just want to do something. They, they feel like they have to try. Since Friday's historic Supreme Court reversal of Roe v. Wade, Planned Parenthood of the Pacific Southwest has seen a significant jump in donations directly to its website. CEO Dara Johnson says financial help is needed more now than ever. So even though we've seen a surge of support of the last couple of days, we know that will probably you know, trickle off at some point. Um, so, but we really appreciate all of the outpouring right now. But yes, it has been a significant increase. On the national level, Planned Parenthood has seen celebrity donors step up, including Grammy Award winning singer Lizzo with concert promoter Live Nation pledging $1 million to the organization. What does the money go to? Support the extra um, burden on uh, our organization having to increase access to staff, training, uh, resources, logistics, just making sure that we're there to care for people who need us. The Planned Parenthood Pacific Southwest serves Riverside, Imperial, and San Diego counties, and already staff has seen a spike in abortion service appointments. Throughout the region, we've seen over 120 patients from Arizona book their patients just as of Friday morning. And not just from neighboring states. Johnson says over a dozen women across the country have also booked appointments, and they're still tallying numbers from Monday and today. The pregnancy help movement is here to support every single person involved in an unintended or crisis pregnancy. Becky Perez of a local pro-life maternity home called 2911 has also seen support shoot up since last Friday. The organization, which is named after the Bible verse, Jeremiah 2911, has two locations in the East County where pregnant women in crisis can live, work, go to school, and receive support services. Perez says volunteer calls, money, and interest overall have increased. Now more than ever, we are all ready to step up and help the women who are going to be affected by this. Heather Hope, CBS 8.